Here's the top five reasons you should get a rocket stove as a critical part of your emergency preparedness gear. After we discuss the reasons, I'll do a couple of demonstrations of just how practical these really are. So here we go, reason number five. They produce little to no smoke as they burn so cleanly. Now this is very important in a grid down scenario where you don't want to draw attention to yourself and you want to be discreet. Compare this to a typical campfire, which will alert people from far distances that someone has a fire going. It does this with a fully insulated vertical combustion chamber that forces gases to mix with flames when in use. Also, the flame is contained within the stove, and so it's not very visible. Reason number four, it can use an assortment of biomass. In nearly every emergency, there's wood of some type or debris laying around that would be freely available to fuel the stove, even if you haven't been chopping and storing wood in advance. It uses readily available fuel you can pick up right in your own backyard, like small twigs and sticks. And this particular model can even burn charcoal. Reason number three, it's portable. Obviously you won't be carrying this in your bug out bag, but it's small and lightweight enough that it can easily be picked up and packed into your vehicle if you had to leave your home in an emergency. It's definitely on my list of things that I would put into my car if I had a bug out. Reason number two, they're durable. Now this particular model, the EcoZoom Versa, has a strong cast iron top and has a product lifetime of five years or more. There are some do-it-yourself videos online that discuss making a rocket stove out of cinder block, but remember, unless you have a cinder block designed to specifically handle fire and high temperatures, they'll easily begin to crack and disintegrate, which can be a huge safety and fire hazard that you really don't want to deal with in a grid down scenario. And reason number one is that they're efficient. They use less fuel than a standard fire. Just a handful of fuel can cook an entire mill. It uses a lot less fuel than an open fire. There's no need to scavenge, harvest, and process a lot of wood to cook your food after the grid goes down. The way a rocket stove works is that it has an air chamber at the bottom, a refractory metal combustion chamber above where you add the fuel, and then a vertical combustion chamber which helps to efficiently and cleanly burn the fuel. You can open and close the damper door to control the heat level. It has a lightweight ceramic insulation which helps cut the weight and keeps you from burning your hands if you touch the sides. I played around with the stove today and to start with I wanted to see how quickly I could heat up 4 cups of water with a minimal amount of fuel. I used a power ring which helps make the stove even more efficient and I wrapped it around a pot containing water. I added 4 cups of water to the pot and wanted to see how much fuel I needed to bring the water to boil. Just using about 4 small sticks I was able to bring the water to boil within a little over 8 minutes. I was thoroughly impressed. Next, using a cast iron skillet which I'll provide a link to in the description section below. I was able to cook some eggs very quickly as well. The heat was evenly distributed across the skillet, which is one of the great things about using a cast iron skillet. If you're going to pick up a rocket stove, I highly recommend you have a cast iron skillet or Dutch oven as well. The great thing about this particular rocket stove is that you can regulate the heat level by opening and closing the bottom door, which will increase or restrict airflow going into the combustion chamber where the fuel burns. With a little practice, you can learn to cook various types of food depending on the amount of heat they need to cook. So in my opinion, getting a rocket stove is a very, very wise investment when it comes to uh, stocking up the different items that you need in your prepper inventory. Um, just testing it out, I was really impressed with how it performed, the construction, the durability. Again, this is created by, uh, produced by a company called EcoZoom, and uh, I'll provide a link in the description section if you wanna check out some of their other products. Great company, they do a lot of work in uh, third world countries. And again, if you know my background, having done NGO work in Afghanistan, I really appreciate companies that are not only willing to take the money they earn and invest it in themselves, but they actually go and do humanitarian work with it. So big thumbs up to this company and thank you to EcoZoom for sending us a rocket stove for the power ring and for the uh, iron skillet. So great products. And again, I'll provide links in the description section below if you wanna check out the products that were used in this video. Uh, again, my recommendation is, for to, is definitely to pick up one of these. Um, you know, if you've been watching my YouTube channel lately, I've been doing a lot of videos on different fuel sources and actually harvesting wood and, you know, getting that lined up should there be a disaster. And this one to me, I've had a lot of uh, people in the uh, comment section of some of my videos provide their feedback that I should get a rocket stove and I'm glad I did. These are uh, definitely a great tool to have. So if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to share, um, like it or comment. Again, I always enjoy getting comments from the uh, YouTube community. I learned so much from you guys. So please feel free to uh, post some comments below, any feedback that you have. So again, uh, thank you so much for checking out this video. And as always, be safe out there.
Feel free to check out some of our other videos by clicking on the links on the side, visiting our website, or subscribing.